Have you ever heard of the let them principle? Let's talk about it. I saw a video on YouTube from Mel Robbins channel. She's a famous motivational speaker and she has this podcast as well. And while I was watching it, she talked about the let them theory or the let them principle. The word let means allow or give permission. And when you combine it and it becomes let them, that means allow them or give them permission. So what is the let them principle? Simply put, it means letting people do whatever they want to do and not controlling or trying to force the situation to change just because it's out of your control. When people don't invite you and then you feel left out, just let them. When your friends don't want to include you in certain group gatherings, let them. If someone doesn't want to make an effort in their relationship, let them. If your parents just don't seem to care about you enough to be thoughtful about your feelings or emotions, let them. But does this mean that you just have to let these people mistreat you, take advantage of your passiveness and just let them do this and that's it? Of course not. We're going to talk a lot about these questions later in this video. Let's break this into two questions. Why is it life-changing when you learn how to apply the let them principle or the let them mindset? How will it change your life? And second, how can we apply it in life, in our daily life? And how do we make sure that we apply it the right way? When you let people do whatever they want instead of forcing them or controlling them, it will reveal who they are. When you let them, you are letting go. And that means that the goal of the let them mindset is not to change negative outcomes, but to let go of your own expectations, anxiety, and resentment that might build up over the years. For example, when your friends don't seemingly remember to invite you in gatherings or activities, it will build up a lot of resentment in you because you will always question, why do they always forget about me? Am I not a valuable friend enough? Why am I always getting left behind when, it, when they plan these activities? And your expectations, your anxiety, and your resentment will definitely add up. But when you apply the let them principle, it's very much life-changing because you are just letting them do whatever they want to do and you don't care anymore. You don't think or you don't connect your worth as a person or as a friend to any of that. You're just letting them. I think... Sometimes people confuse this as because you're letting them do it, it does decrease conflict, but I'm still hurt because they didn't invite me. So it still hurts, right? Or when you're asking uh, the person you love, can you like send me flowers or do something sweet and, and they don't do it and you let them not do it, but you're still in the relationship with that person. So it still hurts, right? It's still makes you upset like I guess the confrontation was gone or the conflict was gone because you're just letting them but aren't you letting them just disrespect you and then you not saying anything isn't it becoming like a passive non-confrontational person no you let them do whatever they want yes but you don't stay in that situation you don't let yourself you don't let people walk all over you you don't let them treat you like that. Like I said earlier, when you let them do whatever they want, they will show you the kind of people that they are. They will show you who they really are. And once you see that, you will also see your value, your worth as a person. And if they don't see it, walk away. 
if they don't want to put effort in the relationship and you just let them yeah let them but also walk away because you don't deserve to stay in a relationship where they will just do whatever they don't want to do and you will stay there because they will think oh she's letting me not make any efforts in this relationship now she's letting me do whatever i want so i guess we're good right so you will you're not allowing people to treat you badly what you're doing is you're telling them that if you don't see my word if you don't like me for who i am and i'm an i know i'm a good person then walk away and you'll find your tribe so it's really life-changing because it's not just letting go it's completely letting go and completely accepting that you know what maybe i need to find better friends i need to look for my tribe who goes with my vibe maybe i need to just stop seeing my value in the way this specific person treats me let them allow them give them permission just let them do whatever they want you'll see the kind of person they are and you'll see your worth and just walk away how are we going to implement this mindset or principle in our daily lives number one is letting go completely letting go of all expectations anxiety and resentment once you've already accepted the fact that no matter what you do and no matter how hard you try these people are not going to make an effort to include you just for some reason you don't even need to ask why when you just walk away it's so freeing and liberating i personally used to experience this before and it's so upsetting it and to think do you think those people who didn't invite you are upset or bothered or worried no they probably don't even think about it so why are you stressing yourself out if those boyfriends who never wanted to make an effort at all in your relationship or those family members who never wanted to make an effort to be a valuable person in your life are not stressed or bothered why should you so just accept it don't ask why why is it is it because i'm such a bad person what did i do no just walk away honey completely totally let go accept it and then move on with your life once that you've done this and you've fully accepted and let them do whatever they want to do shift your priorities moving forward just because you're letting them doesn't mean that you're also letting them walk all over you or you're just like going to wait there and just hoping that one day they'll finally invite you or realize your worth no when you let them you let them and you never look back you just move on with your life moving forward and not looking back and sometimes you will see that when you do that that's when these people who at first did not see your value will finally learn to see your value when they see that you are actually brave enough to walk on your own and move forward that's when they will start making changes and making effort and trying to catch you again or catch up on you or try to get you back but you've already seen what kind of person they are so you need to be smart enough move forward and concentrate on making your life better with better people who you know you don't need to walk away from before they will start doing or becoming better or treating you better a lot of resources from the internet always define the let them principle as letting people do whatever they want to do and that shows you who they really are but to me it also shows myself who i really am what i really am worth and it's not really about how other people treat me so if an ex-boyfriend treats me really bad because he doesn't want to put any effort in the relationship i don't need to wonder and ask myself why can't he even update me why is why is that so hard do i not deserve that your worth and your value should not be questioned from how other people treat you badly and when you feel that within friends within relationships or family walk away 
Let them do how what they want to do. Let them treat other people the way they treat other people, but don't allow yourself to be treated that way. I have a lot of experiences about this, and as someone who deals with major anxiety, it's very sad and it felt very isolating. I used to have friends and also they were my colleagues and they would go out and they don't seem to remember to invite me in these activities. And then sometimes I would make the effort to always invite them and they would just bail out on me or they have the audacity to tell me that they're only going out with me if I will be paying for everything and they wouldn't hang out if I won't pay. So that was very sad and to be honest with you because I'm so desperate and I was trying so hard, there was a point when I was like, yeah, sure, I'll pay just so we could hang out together because I felt so lonely. I felt like I have to make an effort and I want to be able to tell myself one day that I really made an effort to make time and be friends with these people. But I noticed that they kept turning me down to hang out unless I pay or what's even sadder is they only remember to hit you up with a text or a message online if they need something from me like if they need help if they need money if they need to borrow and they don't even ask how are you doing what's going on with your life what's how are you no they don't even bother to ask they will just like hey can i can i ask can i um stay can i get this or whatever that's when i realized that these are not good people that i actually want to be friends with because it's very transactional and inauthentic it's different understanding that these people have their own lives and yes sometimes we all get a little too busy sometimes and we don't have time to hang out with friends all the time but to just constantly turn someone down and then only be there when you need something from them is very inauthentic and I don't think that's a good quality of a real friend. I have something to share. So I used to be in a long distance relationship and it was really rough because I always questioned my worth because of how the other, the person treated me. I always have to ask like, why is it so difficult for this person to do this very basic effort in this relationship especially if you've ever been in a long distance relationship it's double the work it's double the effort because you don't see each other and you're not physically together so the effort to build trust and good communication is really important however whenever you would fail to do that i would always question myself why I would get angry I would have so much anxiety I would have so much resentment and then there was also a point when I was letting him I was allowing him become that lame barely doing the I mean not even doing the bare minimum failing to do that despite like the clear communication the fights, the begging, the crying, all these emotions, all these toxic arguments, letting him do whatever he wants to do, which is not doing anything for the relationship to be better. I still stayed in the relationship, which is definitely not what the let them mindset is. Because when you let them, you let them, but you also shift and you move forward and you shift priorities. Since you've seen how this person is treating you badly, you walk away but I let him and at the same time I stayed and you know when I stopped doing the efforts that I was just doing alone and I can see that this person can't even have or make up a good conversation with me and it's just all me apparently it really woke me it really lifted this dark cloud that's been in my head for so many years now and the doubts and after so many years and years of fighting for this relationship to think that I've been trying so hard to force this person 
to be better like me, to to work hard like me, to do something and forcing and controlling. And then I realized, just let him. Let him do whatever he wants. Let go of expectations and anxiety and just walk away for my mental health. And it felt good. It felt good. And at first I was like, am I being selfish? But I wasn't selfish because I know that I've been trying for so long to help this person in the relationship to the point that my mental health is also getting affected negatively. And yeah, it's time to let go. It's time to move on, shift priorities and just let them do whatever they want to do. It's very helpful, but you have to know your worth and you have to stick to your worth. Some people will show you that you don't you don't matter or you're not worth their time, their effort, even if it's just a little bit, and that's fine. You'll find people who will treat you better. And if not, just enjoy your own company, enjoy what you can learn on your own, and let them. Let them do whatever they want to do and do whatever you want to do. Do what's going to make you happy. Don't associate yourself with people who makes you cry, who makes you upset, who makes you question your worth. That's it. If you learn something from this video, if you watch till the very end of this video, I hope this helped you to let people do whatever they want in life and you move forward and shift your priorities and see your worth and your value in yourself, not the way other people treat you. Just let them. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Erica Messina, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.